four. Look at the rest of the field, including decorated veteran Marwan Nelkamash, Egyptian national record holder, Olympian for his native nation. Alec Enyer from Tsunami Swim Team of Kansas City, freshman to Texas, was third of the 1500 free already at this meet. David Johnston, he was second in the 1500 here at Mission Viejo. Runner up at the NCAAs of the 500 yard free for the swimmer out of Longhorn Aquatics. And he was second quick in the heats. will be in lane five. Top three finishers in the 1500, as you just mentioned. I think El Kamash is definitely the huge favorite in this race. Comes in with about a three second advantage as of a lifetime best, and he's done that recently. Jason, only one other swimmer has ever broken 350 before, and that's Johnson, who was second in the 1500 and is starting to really improve. Had a great year at Texas, as you mentioned. He's from Dallas, Texas boy through and through. Yeah, it's been on the world's team for the United States, short course wise, in 2022. Fifth in the 800 free, eighth in the 1500. Trying to break through, make that long course world championship team for the U.S. coming up in Japan this summer. Again, those trials in Indy Phillips 66 national serving as the international team qualifier for the U.S. as opposed to separate events last year, Rowdy, where we had the team trials in April, and then the Nationals came later on in July. I like it later. I like just kind of just moving right along, just like the U.S. does for their Olympic trials, about a month out of the games, and obviously has had so much success from that standpoint. The U.S. has been number one in the world swimming since 1956. Certainly in those Olympic games, they have been number one. Getting back to this, this 400, you know, as, as great as the American women are doing in the 400, in fact, five women now from the U.S. ranked in the top 10. This is one event is, to put it nicely, is wide open for the United States. They have been fairly weak in this event. No swimmers in the top 10 the last two years. None this year, none last year. The women had that superstar in Ledecky. The men have a star in Kieran Smith, who won bronze back in Tokyo, but He's about the only one right now that you know has that chance to get on the medal podium. And this is an event that has improved dramatically internationally, Jason. I mean, you had a couple 341s last year. The world record, who we what we thought was untouchable for a long time, 340 flat, is now in sight for a lot of swimming. Elijah Winnington winning that world crowd in Budapest last summer. 341.2 on the opening day of the competition. Here in Smith, Trey Freeman, seventh and eighth in that world final last year. And Freeman now has retired, so it's really left to Smith and a few up and comers like a David Johnson. He's a guy that can certainly, based on what he's been able to do over the last six to 12 months, has a chance. It, he gets a little bit better as the distance goes along. Oh, a great 800. I think he's a good 1500, good 400, but I think that 800 is going to be his best event. Right now trying to close the gap on Marwan El Kamash. And 29 year old still in charge here. Johnston two up in lane five, holding down second. Carosa there in lane four. He's looking to thrust himself into the conversation too. 153.9, let's call it 154 flat at the 200. So he'd have to have a huge negative split to even come close to his best time, but certainly in charge here. And if you, if you've got a guy that's winning the 1500, it can be hard to imagine that he's gonna get tired, but a good race right now for Second, shaping up anyway. Carosa's overtaken his Longhorn Aquatics teammate David Johnston right now. El Kamash working his way to the finish. He'll get the win, and it will be Carosa there to snag second. Johnston fading to fourth as Alec Enyard able to slide his way in there. Another 
guy that swims in Texas takes third. Okay. 154, 150. Yeah, nice job for El Kamash. And here's another guy from Longhorn. So many great middle distance swimmers from Texas and Eddie Reese and what he's been able to accomplish during his legendary career. Carroza is another one that just might join his teammate in Johnston. And you remember Drew Kibler and there are so many to even name. And here's another guy that you want to keep an eye on as we head to at least the Olympic Games next summer and perhaps the trials in Indy next summer. So Marwan El Kamash wins the 1500 at this meet, adds a second title here in Mission Viejo with victory in the 400. And then those guys with Texas ties, Carosa, Enyart, and Johnston come home second, third, and fourth. Marwan joins us. Congratulations on the win. What is your rest of your schedule like getting ready for world championships this summer? Well, this is basically my last meet for world champs. Uh, Actually, I was battling with a back injury for the past two weeks. So it's good to be here and take a week off from training and just race. What do you take away from that race? Uh, honestly, I was just trying to go as close as possible to my season best, which is 347. So 349 here is not too bad. Well, stay healthy and we'll see you later on this summer. All right, thank you so much. Marwan El Kamash with another win here in Mission Viejo. Again, just trying to feel good after dealing with a back issue and look pretty good in taking the win. And Rowdy, some strong swim performances from some solid names, especially from an American perspective, that are going to be threats to make a world team for the U.S. with that big meet coming up in Indy next month. Yeah, I, 